Now, since that shooting in Parkland in Florida, it appears schools across the country have seen a rise in threats. <laughs> We've had four here in the metro area just in the last week. So tonight, local officers have a very strong message to anyone who plans to give a threat. A threat of violence sent Paulding County into go mode after police say this 17-year-old girl texted a friend that someone was at North Paulding High with a gun. Police say Ava Castillo claimed the suspect was trying to enter classrooms while armed, but after talking with her, learned it was all a hoax. This after another scare in Fulton County at Johns Creek High when a student reported these Snapchat messages where a student posed with several guns. Even though there was no direct threat to anyone, it was menacing enough for the school to suspend him pending a disciplinary hearing. But the story doesn't end there. Somehow this student got the name of the person who reported him and according to a police report is now trying to go after them, threatening to urinate on the door of their house when no one else is around. If that wasn't enough, a third threat made by a student about violence at South Cobb High in Austell. A joint investigation led to a 15-year-old girl who will be charged. This is a crime. We are not going to let this slide. Police say even though most of these threats are nonspecific and fake, it's got to stop. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Just because you think this might be funny or, oh my God, I don't want to take this test or I want to get my buddy out of whatever jam he's in in school, it's not worth it. Um, you're talking about a potential felony charge. And think about this. Those three arrests are just what we've learned today. There was another threat written on a bathroom wall at Hiram High School on Monday. Police say a 16-year-old girl was arrested for that and charged with two felonies.